Welcome back to Zone for Geeks. My name is Casey, and today we're going to be setting up a file share server using Ubuntu. When it comes to Linux, not everything is as simple as it should be, but fortunately, setting up a file share is relatively straightforward. The reason I use a Linux for a file share and not Windows is because Linux requires much less resources. In fact, my file store VM has two processor cores and two gigs of memory. You can't even boot up Windows with that. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to be using Ubuntu Server version 2204, but this will work with older versions as well. So I've created a brand new VM with a fresh install of Linux. The first thing you should always do is update your packages. To do this, we run the sudo apt update command. Once that's complete, we update our installed packages by using the sudo apt upgrade command. This will take a few minutes depending on your system. By the way, all of the commands that I use in this video will be in the description below. Now that we have that done, you want to create a folder for your share. This will be the root folder for all of your shared documents. For simplicity, I'm just going to call my folder share. Now I want to change the permissions of this folder so that as long as I have the correct credentials, you have full permission. You might want to adjust your permissions based on your needs. Now that that's done, we need to install Samba. To do this, we use the command sudo apt install Samba. Now that Samba is installed, we need to update the config file to include our new share folder. Using whatever text editor you want, navigate to the slash etsy samba smb.com file. Scroll to the bottom and add your share folder. The path will be the path to your share folder. You want to make it browsable. Set read only to no. And set guest okay to no. If you don't set the guest permission, you might not be prompted for credentials and then you might run into permission issues. We're almost done, but I've cleared the screen to make it a little bit easier to read. We just need to add the user to our Samba share. To do that, we use the command sudo smb pass wd tac a. Add your user, enter your desired password. The last thing that we need to do is we need to set our Samba services to automatically start if our machine reboots. To do that, we use the sudo systemctl enable command. Do that for both services shown on screen. Now we just need to restart these same two services. Okay, we're done. We should now be able to navigate to our share folder. I'm going to test it from a Windows machine. I'll pull my file explorer over and navigate to the share path. I'm going to enter my username and password. And as you can see, I've connected to the share folder. Now let's go ahead and create a file so we can test everything. We'll add a little content. Now I'm going to head back over to Linux and let's see if our file is there.
we can see our share.txt file. Let's open it up. There's our message. Now let's add another. Now back in Windows, we can see that our share is properly working. The last thing you can do if you're connecting from a Windows machine is to map the network drive. To do that, go into this PC, click Computer, then map the network drive. Give it a drive letter, set the path, and make sure to check connect using different credentials. Enter your Samba username and password. And now you have a map drive to your Linux file storage server. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.